journey. This is a covered bridge project. That's kind of a blast from the past. And so it was done in a couple of different phases. Can yeah. you tell me about the crane work in each of those phases? All right, it was engineered to use, uh, on the first phase, to use our 550 ton and our 770 ton. Where we had the 770 ton on this side next to the rock pile. And then the 500 ton was up on top on the road. And uh, we had to lift two girders on each uh, span. The first span being the first phase was the two girders above the water. And they were like 170,000 pounds each. We actually had to take the 770 ton and fly the girder over until the 500 ton could grab it and then re-rig the 770 so that both cranes could put it in place. So why were <clears throat> the Lieber cranes chosen for this? Well, the geographical area, there's a lot of uh, bridge with uh, weight limits mm -hmm. and in order to get two big cranes down here that can pick 170,000 pounds there was a, really one access road coming down mm -hmm. so with the 770 we were able to bring it down in 14 semi truck loads to actually do the assembly on site which took an entire day and then also the 500 ton was built on that first day also and then the second day is when the pick would happen and we'd set the two girders on the second day. And then the third day was tear down and get out. So tell me about the configuration of the crane. We had to have so much boom out in order to have head clearance for the rigging in order to pass it off to the other crane. So the 770 was configured with max counterweights and I forget the main boom length, but <clears throat> it also had the Y guy on it just so we'd have the capacity with that much stick out. This is a huge project. How does something like this get done? It's a team effort. Team effort from proposing as well as all crane. And everybody put all the engineering together, the operators together, the truck drivers. It's just a good team effort.